So there are two different movies coming out this weekend. One is a super cool, awesome looking Marvel film, and the other is Trainwreck. Please, why would I ever go see that? A movie about relationships and how good they can be and how finding someone to hold and cherish in your life makes you happy and... <laughs> I'm so lonely. This is a cute title, Sane. <laughs> Ant-Man is a 2015 Marvel action film, and I say Marvel because let's be real here, they're their own genre at this point. They are the king of movies. They have what is currently like my second favorite movie of the year already this year. So naturally, Ant-Man has a lot to live up to. And if any of you know the drama of this movie, doesn't matter, because I'm about to tell you anyways. Basically, this film was originally slated to be one of the first Marvel films as Ant-Man was originally a founding Avenger. However, it got pushed back and got pushed back, probably because Ant-Man is pretty ridiculous when you think about it, until we get to here. And originally, famed comedy director of the Cornetto trilogy, Edgar Wright, was to direct this movie, but had to later drop out as he felt that the Marvel machine had sort of taken away what would have been his vision, and thus the whole internet went crazy saying, this movie's doomed, fuck it all! But they went along with it, got a new director, Peyton Reed, started doing trailers, and they looked awesome. So many people are going into this movie just not really sure what to expect. And personally, it's a lot to expect. It's, it's awesome. That's the best way I can say it. First up, the plot to this movie. We start off with Scott Lang. And for those of you who have heard, correct. Scott Lang was not the original Hank Man. Hank Pym, played in this film by everyone's favorite man whore, Michael Douglas, was the original Hank Man, Hank Pym. I, I don't know I already said that, but I'm getting a little lost here. Um, and basically, Hank Pym created Ant-Man because he's a super genius and it's not like we don't have too many of those in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and also Hank Pym's more boring than white bread so we went to the second Ant-Man Scott Lang a thief who gets trained in this movie by Hank Pym to become the new Ant-Man and do stuff for him like steal things and control ants and fight bad guys all that good stuff and first up I gotta really put it up to the cast Michael Douglas is excellent Hank Pym but again the one who really steals the show here is Paul Rudd as Scott Lang. He did a great job of making a character that could have just came off as an a-hole come across as this really kind, relatable person and really lovable. You really connected to him and you really related to him and a lot of that had to do with just what surrounded Scott Lang. This is the first real superhero movie to be about a father. He's got a daughter in this movie and you see how he relates to Hank Pym as his own daughter in the form of Evangeline Lilly who was fine. She was just kind of there. But, and again, that creates for a really interesting movie, and this film executes itself really interesting. Yeah, the villain's pretty generic, but everything else about it is really interesting. The way they show him shrink is really cool. A lot of the stuff with the ants is the action in this film is really neat. And for those of you wondering, you still see a lot of Edgar Wright's imprint on the film, a lot in the way the comedy does itself, a lot in the way the plot executes itself. Basically, all this needed was some more ice cream, and this would have been an Edgar Wright film. But what Peyton Reed the does add to it really does make the film feel like it's part of the Marvel Universe, and it does something very important. It brings the Marvel Universe back to more personal level. With all these new um, first heroes getting their first films coming out in the next few years, especially because Phase 2 was almost all sequels and a film with multiple heroes and a lot of a uh, universe setup, to bring it back down to such a smaller level and quite literally a character who is very smaller because of his powers, that can even off-put people because it is a very ridiculous power set. It creates a huge problem, but this movie brings it down to that personal level by getting a likable cast, a fun, exhilarating plot, some cool action scenes, and some stuff we've never seen before in a superhero movie with the shrinking and the personal elements, and it's all just so freaking awesome. Please go see this movie, because Ant-Man is... 9 out of 10 on the action movie scale. This film movie is fun, awesome, amazing. Definitely one of the best of the year. Go check it out right now. It is just that worth it. But what did you think? In the comments section below, give me your favorite Marvel film you're looking forward to, what you thought of this movie. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe because I don't intend to shrink away.